Update 3 is crucial to Battlefield 2042. I say that for a few reasons, one of them being that since the game's launch, it has received for the PC version a 2.3 user score based on 3,820 ratings on Metacritic. It's also received 62,500 reviews on Steam and is sitting at a 35% positive. So overall, its rating is mostly negative. That will be because of the like plethora of issues that this game has. A lot of people say that People complaining about the game are overreacting, they're getting a load of stuff wrong. But when you look at the connection, the lack of maps, the lack of weapons, the fact that hovercraft can climb up the side of buildings, the fact they're incredibly overpowered, there was no weapon balancing, and a PP was, like the PP-29, whatever you want to call it, was the most powerful gun in the game. The like bullet spread for ARs was dreadful. Some of this stuff has been fixed. Some of it is going to be fixed. There are a huge amount of different issues in this game. And update number three has a lot of bug fixes. Like a lot of stuff going on. This game released on the 19th of November 2021. It had a week before that for early access for people that are part of Xbox Game Pass and also for people that had bought one of the two biggest editions of the game. But its official release date was the 19th of November, so the game's about two weeks old, and they are already three pretty big updates in. And that's why this update is crucial. They have to get this right. This has to fix a lot of the important issues for the player experience. They have said they are working on future updates already, but the fact that the game has already released three updates is a little bit bizarre. So, if DICE get this update right, they could potentially save Battlefield 2042. A lot more players could be happy. The fan base, like, it could pick up rating on Steam. A lot more people could be happy overall. However, I personally feel that if they get this wrong... This game is going to drop off incredibly fast. Just because if there are still loads and loads of issues that players are facing in like every single match, people are going to get bored of waiting around for them to keep posting patches to see if there's a chance of it actually fixing the issues. Another thing that points in the direction of this game flopping is the fact that that Farming Simulator 22 currently has more Steam players than Battlefield. Battlefield is a huge franchise. I'm not saying Farming Simulator isn't, but it's got a much bigger audience. Battlefield has a, like a ginormous audience. So when I took these screenshots, Farming Simulator 22 had 38,000 people playing with a 24-hour peak of 77,000. This is just on Steam. Console's going to be different. But Battlefield, on the other hand, had 23,000, with a 24-hour peak of 30,000. So their numbers are already decreasing very, very quickly. So update number three has to fix a lot of the stuff is intended to fix. It has to be a smooth run with this update. Or I believe that the player base will decline for a very long time. At least for the foreseeable future. I give it maybe between a year and two before this game's in a really, really good state if they carry on with it. Because you can't forget the fact that they abandoned Battlefield 5. This is the following installment of the series. Straight after BF5 is 2042. So I feel they absolutely have to get this update right. And I'm hoping they do. Because I love a Battlefield game. I know a lot of people right now are loving the shit out of Portal. But the all-out warfare, even Portal and Hazard Zone, like the whole game to its core, 
just needs fixing. So what we will do is when update 3 drops, I believe I've still got some trial time left. I'm not even sure if it is a trial. I've not once had a pop-up saying that I'm playing a trial. And it doesn't say that in my games and apps on my Xbox. So I'm not sure if I've got the full game like permanently for whatever reason. Or if I am playing a trial and I just don't know how long I have left. I'm not entirely sure. But when update 3 drops, providing I can still play the game, I will jump on, check it out. And hopefully DICE can save Battlefield. We are going to leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff in the comments and I will see you in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed it.